Hey friends, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chanel. What's good? You're on my reaction and commentary channel. This is a channel where we watch movies together because we're friends and I let you know what's going on in my brain as I'm watching them. We have a grand old time on this channel because I love film. I love the movies. I love to tackle, tacker. I almost said tacker. I love to tackle filmmakery elements. I love to call out lighting choices, sound choices, music, acting. It's all fair game and it's all my favorite. Hydration. Today's video has been a long time coming. You guys have wanted me to see Fight Club forever since the inception of my channel. It's like, have you seen Fight Club? No, I was probably a little young back in 1999, would have missed this one the first time around, but I'm beyond happy to catch it this time around. I wanna see some quirky, quirky Brad Pitt. I wanna see some Ed Norton. I love those dudes. Edward Norton is just like the coolest, most off the cuff dude I can think of. Brad Pitt has been impressing the shit out of me these days. I feel like he started off as like leading man, Mr. Sexy, but he just behaves like a character actor in my humble opinion. You can be sexy and still be a character actor. And I stand by that phrase. Yes, so Fight Club. I don't know much about it. I know the line. First rule of Fight Club is don't mention, don't say Fight Club. So I'm gonna be listening for that. And you know when they say it, I'm gonna freak out, okay? I don't wanna read the synopsis. Is this like a bunch of dudes and they have to blow off steam so they start a Fight Club? I don't know, maybe. Oh, yo, wait, the logo is a bar of soap. Mischief Mayhem soap. Oh my God, are they in prison? Maybe, maybe. And before we continue on with today's watch, I am so excited to announce that once again, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. <sighs> You don't know how weird it is talking to yourself in your bedroom, you guys. Today's video is sponsored by my favorite, Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for your website building needs. From landing pages, business tools, analytics, gorgeous galleries, Squarespace has got you covered. They are a one-stop shop. I'm obsessed with Squarespace. I've been using them for years. I have ChanelRichio.com and it couldn't have been easier for me to launch my own website using Squarespace. I chose a template, made it sexy, put my information up there, wrote a fun little about me page, have an awesome gallery. It's an amazing way to just have all my information in one spot where I can send agents, managers, casting directors alike to my site. And yeah, it just couldn't have been easier. My favorite feature about Squarespace is just the sheer beauty of it all. The hardest part about launching your Squarespace website is going to be picking a template because they are all drop dead gorgeous. Seriously, you're going to have an impossible time picking, but head on over to squarespace.com slash Chanel Riccio. Give a couple of templates a try. You're not married to any one idea. See what feels right. See what drives with your line of work. They've got templates where you can sort by what you do. Maybe you're doing something artistic. Maybe you're doing food. Maybe you're doing sales. Squarespace has got you covered. So that's squarespace.com slash Chanel Riccio or hit that link in my description box below if you don't want to type it out. Then when you are ready to launch, use offer code at Chanel Riccio for 10% off. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Squarespace is gonna love it. And of course, without further ado, let's get right into today's watch. Woo! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It sounds so cool already. It sounds so cool. HBC's in this? Hello, Bottom Carter? Meatloaf is in this too? What? What? People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Three minutes. This is it. Ground zero. For a second, I totally forget about Tyler's whole controlled demolition thing, and I wonder how clean that gun is. It's getting exciting now. <laughs> how clean's the gun? In two minutes, primary charges will blow base charges, and a few square blocks will be reduced to smoldering rubble. And suddenly, I realized that all of this, the gun, the bombs, the revolution, has got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Bob. Bob had bitch tits. Bob had bitch tits. Eight months ago, Bob's testicles were removed. He developed bitch tits because his testosterone was too high and his body upped the estrogen. Oh, I take back my laughing at bitch tits. That's not very funny. No, wait, back up. Let me start earlier. For six months, 
Love this voiceover. Love this voiceover. It is so cool. When deep space exploration ramps up, it'll be the corporations that name everything. The Microsoft Galaxy, Planet Starbucks. Planet Starbucks, Microsoft Galaxy. I love this. He was full of pep. Must have had his grande latte enema. I'd flip through catalogs and wonder, what kind of dining set defines me as a person? Don't we all do this in Ikea? I do. I'm like, is this me? Looks like it. You want to see pain? See the guys with testicular cancer. That's pain. I do wonder what Edward Norton would have done to prep for this. Maybe not sleeping himself. He looks super sunken and under the eyes. But um, I know Edward Norton isn't totally method. But he would go try to get the feeling, oh, I, I bet. I would. He's just too good. And this is how I met the big moosey. The big moosey. Knees together. Ben, right? Those awkward little steps. My name is Bob. Bob. I return my phone calls. <laughs> Strangers with this kind of honesty make me go a big rubbery one. I love that rotating camera. It's one of my favorite moves ever because it just shows you that there's no equipment in the frame. <laughs> I love Bob. He's really good. He's great. Who is Bob? Who plays Bob? Do I know him? Addicted. Oh my God. Did he go to all the groups? I just got to say, I love an opening like this. It's like, how did we get there? Gun in, barrel of the gun in his mouth. How do we get there? Let's rewind. Oh my God, he keeps putting different names on the, the name tag. I don't know his real name yet. Yikes. And she ruined everything. Hell in the bottom, Carter. HBC. This chick love her. My blood parasites group Thursdays. Then at Hope, my bi <laughs> sickle cell circle. Sickle cell, oh my God. I felt nothing. I couldn't cry. So once again, cool, 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 cool. Her lie reflected my lie. Slow motion. She looks like a real antagonist, right? Real evil. They're going to butt heads. Next we week, hope. After God. I have pornographic movies in my apartment and lubricants and anal nitrate. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe. Oh, I see Marla with that sig. Smoking section, who remembers? I barely remember, but I remember. I saw you practicing this. Practicing what? Telling me off. Is it going as well as you hoped? <laughs> I do that. Do you guys practice? I'm a rehearser. When people think you're dying, man, they really, really listen to you instead of just... Instead of just waiting for their turn to speak. Oh, that's for real. So he just needs therapy, right? Testicular cancer should be no contest, I think. Well, right? technically, I have more of a right to be there than you. You still have your balls. I'm kidding. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> this is dark and awesome. Deal. I guess it's free therapy, right? Goodbye. I'm into that. I like free. Okay. Oh, Marla is not afraid of dying either. Look the way she just walked into traffic. What is his name? In a different place. Could you wake up as a different person? Is it Brad Pitt? Is it Brad Pitt? Is that Brad Pitt? It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! I've been dying to see him. The father must have been huge. You see where the fats burned in the seat? Probably has a shirt. Yikes! That's his job? A times <gasps> B times C equals X. If X... Love that. Continue it in real time with him explaining. Oh, it all boils down to money. Dog. Oh. I prayed for a crash or a mid-air collision. <sighs> oh, he wants to die too. Him and Marla are a match made in heaven. Please ask a flight attendant to reseat you. <laughs> Brad! It's all right here. This is a movie about dying. Someone to crunch her crotch i know that i've heard that is that from this movie or do people just say that that could be from this movie <gasps> his, 
His table. I would love the Yang Yang table. I really want it. <laughs> oh my god. Lucky. How is that the only thing that survives? Never be complete. I say stop being perfect. I say look. Yes. Evolve. Never be complete. Good ass message. So just ask. Cut the foreplay and just ask, man. Romance. Woo! I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Fight club. What? Fight club. Fight club. Because it affords them other interesting opportunities. Like splicing single frames of pornography in the family film. <laughs> That's when you'll catch a flash of Tyler's contribution to the film. Does he just like sneak like one frame of something bad in? I could have sworn earlier in this film it happened twice. There were flashes of something that wasn't in the movie and I thought it was my bum copy. But now I'm thinking there's intentional slips in this movie. Mother. You hit me in the ear. Well, Jesus, I'm sorry. Ow. I fucked it up. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> no, that was perfect. Pops in one. Good. So funny. I love these characters. I love Brad Pitt's character, even though he's kind of disgusting. Is this how boys blow off steam? Friends? Fight Club? Paper Street. Okay. Cool looking locations. Cool ass looking house. Is he homeless? Maybe. Let's do it. Good. Yeah. This is a cool, one of the coolest looking sets I've ever seen. This house is amazing. Can I be next? What is going on here? Loose the tie. Wow, Brad Pitt's shirt though. That mesh looks nice. <laughs> if you could fight anyone, who would you fight? Fight my boss, probably. Really? Okay, okay. I love how gritty, I love the gritty, gritty blue. I love the neons. Everything feels like grimy, dirty, grainy, awesome. Is this HQ, friends? New headquarters? Welcome to Fight Club. Are we getting rule number one? <laughs> the first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Yeah. Second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Oh, that's a second rule too. This is your first night at Fight Club. You fight. You have to fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who you are in Fight Club is not who you are in the rest of the world. Ooh, it's like if you see your therapist in public. Just like... Okay, all right. Brad Pitt's character design is so insane. Like his clothing choice, like what's his deal? Okay, any historical figure? I'd fight Gandhi. Good answer. <laughs> How about you? Lincoln. Oh shit, it's Marla. I haven't seen you in any support groups. I cheated. She just looked to the lens, maybe? Really? I cheated. Men only. You won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything about this. <gasps> no, she did. No way. She's like infiltrating his fight club. Look at these two kooks. I love it. They deserve each other. They're um not quiet. <laughs> Jeez. What are you doing? Can I shut off? Oh, oh. oh my god, Brad. I got right in everyone's hostile little face. Yes, these are bruises from fighting. Yes, I'm comfortable with that. I am enlightened. Who thinks of this? Are you saying that I'm a suspect? No, no, I may need to talk to you a little further, so how about you just let me know if you're gonna leave town? Okay. Okay. Did Edward Norton get an Oscar nom, at least for this? Because, wow. I hope him and Brad would both have. We make soap. Really? To make soap, first we render fat. Okay, okay, where are they getting that? Guys, where are they getting the fat? I don't love this. Hello? 
liposuction clinic. No, stop it. It's like real life Sweeney Todd. Helena Bottom Carter makes the meat pies made of humans. Richest, creepiest fat in the world. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ew. Or you can use vinegar to neutralize the burn. Please let me have it, please. First, you have to give up. First, you have to know. My heart is pounding. Did he destroy his apartment? So he didn't have, so he doesn't have any material goods, possessions? The first rule of Fight Club is <gasps> you don't talk about Fight Club. Uh-oh. Do you guys print at work? I used to. Will you excuse me? I need to take this. Do you know about Tyler? So Durden? this is this is a, a sim. This is this is a metaphor for organized religion, right, guys? This is going to be about the pitfalls of idol worship. And Tyler is like the Messiah. He's Jesus. And the movie on purpose is keeping him really secretive from us. Like we still don't really know his deal. So hard to watch, guys. <gasps> My heart is pounding. You too, big guy. <sighs> this is harder than a, like almost all the horror movies we've seen on the channel, which don't scare me at all. What are you doing? Oh my god. There's some cool effect too. It just looks really good. The self fight. Nobody was the center of Fight Club except the two men fighting. Corporate sponsorship. <laughs> Dead. There's a Fight Club up in Delaware City. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Yo, they have chosen violence. I'm obsessed with the way this is like hurtling towards Act 3 because it is just escalating and escalating and escalating and we are fanning the flames. It's like we're dumping gasoline on the flames. Would you rather be dead? No. Would you rather die here on your knees in the back of a convenience store? What's he doing? This is like check in on you. the perversion you know of organized you religion. Oh my god, he's a, he's a dream maker. Run, Force, run! Another movie reference. Do you guys want to be traumatized into living your dreams? Like, do you want to have a near-death experience into living your dreams? I don't. I'd rather keep half seeing it for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's so sad. What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. I don't think so. Oh, come on, what do you want? Talk to me. Let go of me. No, leave me alone. This conversation. This conversation is over. Is over. Tyler is like literally speaking for him and is also his conscious. Conscience. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Tyler lit his condo on fire. We trash. We connect your calls. We drive your ambulances. We guard you while you sleep. Do not. I love that point of view shot. Put the camera on the floor where the guy would be laying and have Brad Pitt just get in his face. God damn it! God. Quit screwing around. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Look at you! Why? Why? What are you talking about? Why do you think I blew up your condo? Stop trying to control everything and just let go. I feel sick. I can't imagine being in his shoes. This is really getting away from them, isn't it? They shot him in the head. Pigs. Oh my god. We gotta get rid of the evidence. Bob was there since the, the beginning. This is this this turned into like I know this came first, but I saw Mother first. This this is the chaos of Mother. You just can't stop it anymore. He doesn't know what his name is, does he? They never named him this whole time. They know who he is. Who do you think I am? 
Are you sure this isn't a test? No, this is not a test. You're Mr. Durden. You're the one who gave me this. <gasps> he disappears and puts it all on him. No, Marla, I need to know. You mean you want to know if I think we're just having sex or making love? <gasps> we did make love. Just answer the question, Marla, please. Did we do it or not? Tyler's not real. Tyler's not real. Version of our relationship, Tyler. <gasps> we have just lost cabin pressure. What did you just say? What is wrong with you? What did you just call me? He's Tyler. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, you freak. What's going on? I we never named Edward Norton's character. One simple thing. Why do people think that I'm you? You are me. Oh man, I'm confused now. Is Tyler real? <laughs> Got it. No. Do not say it. It was him the whole time. Because, because we're the same person. You were looking for a way to change your life. You could not do this on your own. All the ways you wish you could be. <gasps> that's me. He's like an alter, an alter ego. They talk to themselves. They see themselves as they'd like to be. They don't have the courage you have to just run with it. Naturally, you still rest. Oh my god. Other times, you imagine yourself watching me. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. That's why Tyler's voice was his voice. And I was like, oh, it's his conscience. The movie goes on, and nobody in the audience has any idea. The film reels, the changeover, no one knows. When were these made? It says right there, sir, between 2 and 3.30 this morning. Insomnia. Have I been going to bed earlier every night? Have I been sleeping later? Have I been Tyler longer and longer? Oh my god. Okay, I, I know that. Who was real and who wasn't real? Was Bob real? You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. Whoa. Also, I feel like they've been keeping the um, location sort of ambiguous, just ambiguous city. There's not really any license plates that you can get a look at. Um, these are streets that you can find in any of the major cities. Chapters have sprung up. Is this even real? I don't know. Major cities already. This is a tightly regimented organization. I believe the plan is to blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies and the TRW building. Why these buildings? What? You're a brave man, Edward. You're a genius, sir. You said if anyone ever interferes with Project Mayhem, even you, we gotta get his balls. It'll set quite an example. You're making a big mistake. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. I did not think this is what Fight Club's about. This is Fight Club. This is shocking. I'm shook. <gasps> this is shocking. That explains why we know almost nothing about Tyler, the whole movie, his weirdo wardrobe. He was an enigma this whole time, because he wasn't real. Oh, God. Tyler, get away from the van. Is he fighting with himself? I want to see. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> That's like some in straight up invisible man effects. Does Tyler need to die to end this? Maybe. Ground zero. I think this is about where we came in. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> when there's a gun in your mouth, you only speak in vowels. Can't think of anything. Aw, still can't think of anything. Obsessed, changes the dialogue. As always, I will carry you and screaming and in the end you will thank me i'm like how does this end does he have to die I got it in my head. oh sh yeah i'm tyler hey good for you doesn't change the thing not my head tyler yours our head ours okay where are you going with this ikea boy ikea boy it's a good nickname for him. That is Ikea boy. <laughs> My eyes are open. Okay, Ty. Now's a good time for you to also die, Tyler. What's that smell? 
Ugh, Tyler's the, the bad guy. He's the antagonist. Brad freaking Pitt. You leave her with me and get your stuff. I'll meet you downstairs. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Now you just wrap it up. Now he's got to wrap it up like the leader that he is. <sighs> I hear the music kicking in, getting a little happy. <laughs> you met me at a very strange time in my life. <laughs> Oh my god, it still happens. Oh my god. I saw the I saw the dick. I saw the I saw the singular frame that Tyler put into our movie. <gasps> okay, then that might confirm that there's been more than one. <sighs> not I'm not okay. Okay, wow. I will I will see you in a minute. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my gosh, you guys, Fight Club from 1999. I have now seen it. That was epic and shocking. If you forced me to make predictions about what that movie would be about and put it in a sealed envelope and then like put some real stakes on it, be like, I will pay you five million dollars if you get it right i wouldn't have gotten any of this right like i would have gotten zero percent of this right um that was nuts that was insane that was so much fun i loved the kooky crazy story i love the kooky crazy characters i loved brad pitt in this so much fun i love edward norton he's like the everyman and it's so fun to make brad pitt his altar because brad pitt is just like Brad Pitt's the everyman on crack. Brad Pitt's the everyman on steroids, literal steroids. Like, it's just, it's so fun to watch this. This is such a fun, crazy story. I had the best time. I just had a great time. I feel like I saw a couple of single frame flashes where something came on the screen and I thought it was my version. I thought like, oh, I've got this weirdo knockoff version of Fight Club, uh-oh. I'm in trouble, but I'm excited to look up if there were other single frame images inserted into the movie, a la Tyler. Loved the choices to just keep, we never knew Edward Norton's name. Narrator, in on the IMDb they have him as narrator. I knew it, we never learned his name and I was like, that's weird, that's freaking weird. We never really learned much backstory on Brad Pitt Tyler. He's just always dressing like a weirdo salesman. And you're like, okay, sure. I loved the themes of this. Um, death, don't be afraid of dying. We're all dying anyway. You know, what do you want to do before you die? If there was a way to sort of beyond scared straight yourself into having the life you wanted, would you want it? Would you want that? I don't think I would. I think it'd be traumatizing. I <laughs> loved Bob. Meatloaf, rest in peace, Meatloaf. The set in the house felt on purpose ambiguous, so I would be really excited to look that up. Like, I think it just was supposed to take place anywhere in any city at any time. Because I didn't really, it didn't feel super 90s, aside from the smoking and the payphones. Yeah, this is church. This is, this is what people turn to in crisis. In a crisis, you turn to faith, or you turn to these groups, these AA meetings, or you turn to madness or all three, probably all three. Deal with your pain, reach enlightenment, metaphor for organized religion, maybe, resision, religion. I got like a lot of mentions where I felt like Tyler was his conscience, was Edward Norton's conscience. He kept saying I could hear his voice. So it makes total sense that Tyler is Edward Norton. And the significance of rock bottom, like what will you do when you hit rock bottom, if you hit rock bottom. The significance of the narrator's job, he equates, he puts a price on human lives. He basically says if settling out of court is cheaper than recalling the model of the car, we're going to settle and we're going to accept the consequences and the deaths. So it's about money. It's about money, people. 
and how money kills. And I just wrote, the Fight Club is like a cancer. And that's kind of where we started. It's like a sickness that kind of shocks you back into reality. Um, the way a near-death experience can shock you back into reality or nearly dying of a cancer could shock you back into reality. Reality. It's like Fight Club was, is that for people. And how f***ing epic that it actually, that it actually happens at the end. That you kind of think it's safe, but the way the movie's been going, everything just poof at the end. So that was really freaking cool. And I just don't want to talk about it. I want to get to the trivia because I need to know. First came up with the idea for the novel after being beaten up on a camping trip when he complained to some nearby campers about the noise of their radio. When he returned to work, he was fascinated to find no one would mention or acknowledge his injuries, instead saying such commonplace things as, how was your weekend? That's awesome! He concluded the reason people reacted this way might be because they there was a degree of personal interaction that would be necessary when asking what happened, and his workmates simply didn't care enough to connect with him on a personal level. It was his fascination with this societal blocking which became the foundation for the novel. Interesting, like the different selves we are, home versus work. I can see that. There are times at work when I just don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about my weekend. Huh, Chuck. The author has stated he found the film to be an improvement on his novel. <laughs> After the copyright warning, there's another warning on the DVD. This warning is from Tyler Durden, and it's only there for a second. I didn't catch this if I had it. If you're reading this warning, then this warning is for you. Every word you read is, of this is useless fine print, and it's another second of your life wasted. Don't you have other things to do? Is your life so empty that you honestly can't think of a better way to spend these moments? <laughs> It goes on. Well, around 34 minutes, the narrator hits Tyler Durden in the ear. Edward Norton actually did hit Brad Pitt. It wasn't faked. David Fincher pulled Norton aside and told him to actually hit him in the ear. <laughs> Brad Pitt and Helena Bottom Gardner spent three days recording orgasmic sounds for their unseen sex scenes. Fun. <laughs> Brad Pitt says he did not want his parents to see this movie. Oh my God, apparently Rosie O'Donnell on her TV show reveals the plot twist ending. Rosie? Fincher, Pitt, and Norton on the commentary call her actions unforgivable. Yes, if you spoil anything for me on this channel in the comments, oh man, we have beef. We have beef. Meatloaf had a fat suit on. It was filled with bird seeds so that it would spill over his pants and give the impression of sagging flesh. Altogether, the suit plus the seed weighed over 100 pounds. Yikes. Yikes. Oh my goodness, David Fincher shot 38 takes of the scene between Tyler and the narrator in Lou's bar after the narrator's apartment has blown up. Each take was filmed with two cameras and for every individual take, Fincher would give the actors a rough idea of what to do and they would improvise most of the dialogue. The scene as it exists in the unfinished film is made up of segments from numerous different takes and much of the dialogue, especially Tyler's dialogue, was completely ad-libbed on set. Cool! That's so many takes, 38 is so many. That is what I thought, okay, so I had a question about the Marla Tyler sex scene and it looked very Matrixy. So you ready? The sex scene between Tyler and Marla was shot using the same bullet time technique used in the Matrix. Stills, cameras were set up in a circle around the bed. Each would take a single shot in sequence. These single frames were then edited together and enhanced with CG as both Brad Pitt and Helena Bottom Carter were fully clothed in motion capture shoots during suits during the shoot. That's what that looked like. It looked like bullet time. And I was confused because I was like, this is the same time as the Matrix. Just about, they would have been shot sort of, it's like kind of around the same time. Director David Fincher initially wanted to include a single frame flash of Tyler Durden during the 20th Century Fox logo, but the studio department, legal department wouldn't clear him to do so. He then tried to include the image during the Regency Enterprises logo. Also wasn't allowed to do it. I still need to know if they inserted more than just that one flash. The film's title sequence is a pullback from the fear center of the narrator's brain. I was wondering what we were looking at. It's supposed to represent the thought processes initiated by the narrator's fear impulse. The sequence was conceived by director David Fincher and budgeted separately from the rest of the film. Oh my God, following the film's release, several fight clubs were reported to have been started in the United States. First rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club was number 27 on the 100 Greatest Movie Lines by Premiere 2007. Whoa, filming lasted 138 days. Whew. Term Paper Street refers to a road or street that has been planned by city engineers but has yet to be constructed. Interesting. Film stock was processed to add to the grubbiness of the image under the supervision of director Dave Fincher. The contrast was stretched, print was underexposed, resilvering was used to decrease density, high contrast print stocks were stepped um, on the print to create a layer of dirt, which Fincher likens to a dirty patina. Yeah, this movie was 
grimy looking, right? Oh, the dots indicating a real change on a film print have never actually been known in the business as cigarette burns. This was made up by Chuck Palahniuk for the book and was carried over into the script. After it was released, people began to believe it was true. Cool, cool, cool. I think I watched the 10th anniversary edition. It says that the, in the 10th anniversary, anniversary edition of the movie, you can actually see a similar frame inserted after the final explosion scene. So maybe that wasn't in like the original. Whoa, before Tyler officially enters the narrator's life, he appears six times in the film. I only caught when he's riding the moving walkway at the airport. I literally only caught it once before. I'm gonna be vibing on the messages of this film for a long time. I feel like this one's gonna just keep unfolding for me. So I'm gonna be excited to talk to you in the comments. So this is where I say, what did you think of Fight Club? Did you see it when it came out in theaters? Did you catch it after the fact? Do you like it? What do you think? Did it blow your mind? You're gonna have to comment below and let me know. You're gonna have to let me know what I missed um, theme thematically and everything. I think this could be a really fun one to talk about. So talk to me in the comments below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Patreon information in the description box below. Other ways to support the channel in the description box below. And of course, as always, I'm gonna go eat.